Ever since the DB11 was announced in 2016, there was always a plan to have two different variants of the car. One more of a GT focused car, and one more of a sports car. So initially the V12 was launched, a 5.2 litre twin turbo car, producing 600 horsepower and 700 newton metres of torque. So we now welcome the 4 litre twin turbo V8. This car, uh, amazing powertrain, it's got a 0 60 time of 4 seconds, which is only 0.1 of a second slower 0 to 60 than the V12, and it's got a massive 675 newton metres of torque, so only 25 down on the V12. Major, major differences for me on the two vehicles is the V12 is your long distance cruiser, pack a bag for the weekend, drive down to south of France, it does that sort of drive incredibly well. When you push it harder, it still responds well as a sports car, but that's where the V8 then comes in. If you're more of a driver that goes out on a Sunday morning in your Aston Martin, wanting to have a bit of fun, or on a track day, the V8 is probably the car that suits you more. Figures are very well, however, the only real way to experience these cars is to come down to Aston Martin Chichester, visit our showroom where we are very fortunate to have a new car display and also variants available within our timeless pre-owned collection.